This is a coil winding jig that I have made. Um, I'll just describe how it works. On the front here, I've got a metal rod going through to hold the spool of wire. Comes through on the other side there, right here. And um, there's a spool of 22 gauge wire. And here I have the head of a drill and the chuck. And there is a, uh, a core that's almost ready to wind. I just put it in there, it's not quite ready to wind. You can tighten up the chuck. Put a little hole here for the key. You can grab this key, tighten up the chuck for your uh, bit. And then over here on this side, I put a lap counter and an eccentric on here that comes around, fits that. And we get one. And we'll come around again. See, we get two. And three, and so on. So we can count how many wines we get on there. And this is an old sewing machine water, uh, motor, sorry, <laughs> that I got hooked up to this, and just a belt onto here. And of course it's got a foot pedal, so I can just uh, give this a little bit of a... There we go, hit my lap counter. You can get it going faster. That's, that's about as fast as I, as I do it when I'm winding. And it works quite well, keeps both hands free. And I put this down here so I don't... Um, uh, it's like a governor, so I don't pull this down all the way and it, it, it rotates too fast, so it gives me a bit of a break on the uh, speed rotation. And then the lap counter, you can, there's 49 turns, you can just zero it when you want, and you're done, and start for start again with a new quill. So a very little simple device, cost me maybe 50 bucks in parts or whatever, and uh, saves a bunch of time on your hands, and makes things a little bit better, easier. That's it.